Hi traders, the market's gaping up today approximately 2% but uh, look at BAB, it's down 7% and I'm looking for the point of no return, the point of the gap and go. So it's about to come down and I'm about to short, short now, 2000 shares. It's a big big mover but I'm immediately in green territory, look at that, $2000 and going, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on BAB. Break down under the lows, $5,000, $7,000, getting ready for a partial, $1,800, I'm going to cover, about to cover, $7,000. Look at this beautiful, beautiful breakdown. Any sign of a pullback now, I'm watching the buyers, I'm watching the sellers. And a new low, oh, that was a bit better. Now it's pulling back up, taking my partial here. Well, amazing trade. Good start for my trading session today. Snap is very strong. It's not a big mover. Uh, entry could be over the highs 15.50. And I'm thinking about the stop loss here, 25 to 30 cents. And it is getting there and I'm buying right now. I'm long, 8,000 shares. Now that's uh, much more size than I did take in BAB because it's a small mover. Shop's looking great. It's up 6%, definitely outperforming the market. You always need to look for stocks that are outperforming the market. They are the ones who everybody's watching, everybody's having them on their screener. And if shop's going to move here over the highs, I'm going to go long. Actually, even before, 2,000 shares about to go long, going long now. It just moved over the highs. Look at this beautiful spike over the highs. That is nice. Okay, go shop. Go, 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 go. $2,000, $3,000. Come on, come on. Continue. You can do it. You can do it. Yes, five grand. And we're going and we're going getting ready to cover to sell 1800 shares ten thousand dollars eleven thousand dollars now first sign of a pullback took my partial in shop and look at this beautiful start i've got today almost nine thousand dollars in shop and eight thousand dollars in biab and still riding so i'm up more than eighteen thousand dollars just what 10 minutes into the trading session Great start for my trading session today. Well, Snap's not doing much. It did move over the highs, as you can see here, but uh, it's really not doing much. I only have a small stop, like 30 cents, but the market's now moving to a new low, and it's just about to move to a new low, and I don't see any reason why I should hold to it. Although Snap is uh, outperforming the market, the market uh, is going to dictate where Snap is going to go today, most likely, not always. So if the market's moving to a new low, I should reduce my size. So I'm getting ready to reduce my size. I'm going to reduce, uh, well, I guess 4,000 shares. I bought it at 15.50 and it's just three cents down now. So it's going to be a very small loser. Yeah, I'm going to reduce 4,000 shares. Selling now. Well, just uh, move down to 4,000 shares instead of 8,000. I just don't trust it to continue. It's holding up. It looks great. But in case it comes down, I don't want to have a bigger loser than I was, than I'm supposed to because the market's moving down now. Like Facebook. Facebook is relatively strong. I mean, it's much stronger than the market. It's up more than 5%. I'm about to go long here. That's a nice technical formation. I'm going to go long 2,000 shares. Now, I'm long Facebook. Again, Facebook is uptrending. Uh, the market um, is not breaking lower as I thought it would. I'm long Facebook. Well, Snap is reaching my stop loss right here. It just spiked down. And I'm about to move from uh, out of my 4,000 shares. The whole idea of reducing size is when you don't really trust the stock, there's no reason to sell everything. You know, we don't like to move out of stocks that we write because we always expect them to continue moving higher. So the best way to solve that is by reducing my size. So it's coming down. Now if it's going to move under 1520, look at the buyers here. I'm going to sell. Here we go, under 15, 20. Well, so before. I'm out of uh, Snap. It just uh, reached my stop loss. Um, 
And again, the whole idea when you hold a stock, you know, the last thing you want to do, you want to move out. You don't want to close a stock that is not going your way. Snap's certainly not going my way. And the market's not helping. So the way to deal with this really is just to reduce size. I mean, if, if, you, can, if you can take it uh, mentally to sell everything, which I couldn't, just reduce your size, lower your risk. And um, then when you have a stop, you just have a much smaller stop uh, than you could have. Facebook's not doing great too. As you can see, that's the spike here where I took it and it's just going sideways since it also spiked down later, which did not take me out. I'm going to reduce my size now by 1000 shares. Same idea. You know, again, it's not going my way. I was wrong. Maybe it's going to make it later. I don't know. But the thing is, if it's not going my way and the S&P, as you can see here, is coming down, then there's no reason for me to hold on to Facebook because it's more likely to come down with the market. So Facebook not doing what I expected it to do. There's no reason to remain with my initial size. I'm reducing my size. And again, I don't have the mental power to close everything now because I still look at Facebook and it's up almost 5% and it should continue higher. So I'm reducing my size at a relatively small loss and hoping that the second half would work fine. Well, Facebook did just that. It moved over the highs. It did recover. So did the market. The market moved higher. That's why Facebook joined the market. And my second half, my last 1,000 shares are up $1,600. And I'm about to take my partial here now, sold 900. So in overall, I'm, I'm green. Overall, I'm green. I'm green. Um, my, my second half in Facebook moved, to, moved me to green territory. But again, there's no reason to hold, to hold on to a stock that is just not going your way. Reduce your size. If you can't move out <laughs> mental issues, then just reduce size. That would be better for you. So I'm, I'm just doing really good today. As you can see, a very small winner in Facebook, a relatively very small loser in Snap because I moved out of half the quantity. But uh, I started my day with two great trades in Shop and BIIB. So I'm um, 14,700 and a few hundred dollars, 140 dollars open. Uh, that was a good trading session. So I'm in the market for one hour and 15 minutes. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for watching this video. Before you go, we invite you to take Traders free trading challenge. If you succeed, you will receive free trading education and access to a $14,000 funded trading account that will allow you to trade from home and keep 70% of your profits. Click here to sign up for this no risk no cost offer. If you like this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel where you can view many more stock trading videos. Questions or comments, please submit them below.